Well, hello there, how you doing yet again, right? I'm always, like, recommending old magazines that you can maybe go and track down. So we're looking at a martial arts magazine called Fighters Monthly that came out. Uh, well, I left school in 79, but I remember seeing this up near a friend's house in Hamilton where I used to go to school. It was in a newsagent's, that one there. And I used to look at it all the time, but I couldn't afford it. I was, I was buying coffee monthlies at the time, so I wasn't going to buy it. I definitely wanted it. And ended up getting it. So I picked up the first four issues of Fighters Monthly. I don't know how many, many were after that. I'll need to try and find out. But two issues have got Bruce on the cover. Number one and number three. So I'll bring it out and let you see it. There's a few pages concerning Bruce in here. The truth about Bruce Lee. There was a magazine that came out, I think it was at 75 or 74, 75, called Combat Magazine, and it had the cover of Bruce, and that was it. And that sells for funny money nowadays. It's just the cover, nothing in, nothing inside concerning them. At least the Fighters Monthly had stuff in concerning Bruce. Now we're into Bruce Lee's Fist of Fury is back. If this was 79, 80, right, this... That, that, Fist of Fury was on a double bill with Way of the Dragon because that's when I started going. I went to see Enter Dragon first, then I went to see these double bills. You day two, then you'd uh, Game of Death and Big Boss and another double bill, and I went to see them as well. Cut to ribbons as usual, but it was great seeing Bruce on the big screen. Absolutely spot on. And look at the stuff you could order. Got the books. I think every Bruce Lee fan's got a copy of the books. I've got two first prints and there's a set of four. I've got two first prints and two reprints. Fist of Fury. Absolutely spawn. And my favourite Bruce Lee movie. Closely followed by Enter the Dragon. Then Way the Dragon and the Big Boss and right at the back, Game of Death. There you go. Now, there was a poster released in the UK with that image. It said Fist of Fury underneath it. I'd never seen it anywhere in Scotland or when I picked it up. Yeah, I picked up the, the Fist of Fury one with the dragon on it. I picked up all the End of the Dragon ones and a Big Boss one and stuff like that. But I never get a chance to get that. And I'd love to have picked that up, man. So I'd, So there you go. Now, you could order stuff for a place called Simac. Britain's best stock martial arts superstore. I can't remember if I ordered anything for there. I think I did. I think I did. And you could order a set of these safety nunchaku for the handsome sum of £2.50 and 50 pence postage. Posted in packaging. 50, uh, sorry, 25 pence. And look at that. You can, you can forget your crash helmet with these safety nunchucks. So, there they are. There. They look very, very cool, didn't they? There they are. There. In the flesh, as, as so to speak. That is the exact same ones that are advertised there. I didn't get them for Simac or anywhere else. I got them as a trade. Uh, a good friend of mine from Newcastle. We me and my pen pals in the Bruce Lee Society and we trade out books, magazines. And I got two sets of nunchucks off them. I gave my dad set, another plastic set. So these have been me for 44 years. So I've never seen these advertised anywhere. Now, these are plastic, they should be advertised, no problem, but I've never seen them advertised anywhere. So they're extremely cool. And if you wanted to get them for Simac, £2.75 would it cost you. you. If they ever come up on eBay, they'll be more than £2.75 and guarantee you that. Well, there you go. Four excellent magazines and a cracking set of nunchucks. What more could you ask for? Use lot, enjoy your day, bye for now.